going on you guys? It's your boy Alex with Collexia bringing you the most in-depth action figure reviews here on YouTube and today we are taking a WWE Mattel Legend Series 22 Muhammad Ali. So I know I'm late to the party with this figure and uh, while this is going to be a review I do want to go through the different Mattel Muhammad Ali figures we've received and kind of compare them and see you know as of all the elites and ultimates that we've gotten which is the best. So if you guys are uh, not familiar with the Mattel line there were two Ultimate Edition uh, Muhammad Ali figures released during the San Diego Comic Con exclusive. We got received two Ultimate Edition figures of him dressed in his WrestleMania referee outfit, as well as a similar boxing uh, attire outfit with the red gloves. Slight variations than this Legends figure. Uh, we also did recently get the Mattel Creations four pack Legends of the Territory Muhammad Ali in the suit, and now we also do have this Legends figure here. So we've gotten quite a few. I want to kind of compare them all and go through this. Um, you know, a little bit of a different review. Like I said, I know there have been a lot of uh, already videos out there on Muhammad Ali, but I thought this would be fun uh, since a lot of those uh, video reviews probably did not have the Mattel Creations Elite figure. But taking a look at this figure, your standard uh, legend style packaging looks really great. You can see the whole figure here with the awesome uh, image or the window box in the front. Uh, you will have the Muhammad Ali nameplate here. The WWE Legends logo on the side. Love the image of Muhammad Ali with the Legends logo on the bottom. Same image on the other side. On the back, you will see the little read-up for Muhammad Ali. We have already reviewed all these figures from this set. So if you guys did miss that, go catch it on my channel here. But let's come back. Let's crack this Legends figure out of the packaging and eventually compare it with the rest of the Mattel Muhammad Ali figures. Here's our Legends Muhammad Ali out of the packaging. So let's take a look at the interchangeable hands he does come with. You will get a set of fisted hands here. You also do get a set of mic open holding hands, as well as the bl uh, the black boxing gloves that do come with this figure. You can see uh, similarly to the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, if you do have the figure in your collection, he does come with another white robe. It uh, does have Muhammad Ali on the back. If you guys do have that figure, that robe is more of like a towel-y type uh, material. This is kind of your standard Mattel soft goods. Uh, the robe does open in the front. Uh, the straps are stitched onto the robe itself, so that is really nice. It will not fall off. Again, you can see the Muhammad Ali decal on the back. Robe should come off pretty easily if you want to. If you don't want to screw it up, you can pop off those gloves. Remove it right off the figure. For time's sake, we will kind of just skip that on the other hand here. And you guys can take a look at this soft goods robe. A little wrinkly, but I kind of like it. I don't... I'll be honest, I wasn't the biggest fan of the San Diego Comic-Con, like, towel -y type material. I get where they were going, but I don't know. It just it didn't correlate that well on that figure, if you ask me. Um, so, here, another Muhammad Ali. We're getting him in the boxing gear. And I know a lot of people are asking, if I have the Ultimate Edition, the Ultimate figures are supposed to be the, like, top Mattel figures. Why do I need an Elite version? And I'll be honest, that's the reason I kind of dragged my feet on this figure. I got this while it was on sale. It was 13 bucks last week at Target. And I said, you know what? I'm going to get him. I'm going to complete the set. Mattel is stating that he's selling really well. He's actually selling the best from the set. Um, I don't know if that's still the case, but at the time I heard an interview from Mattel, that's what they were stating. So, uh, you know, I'll be honest, now that I think about it, when I went to my local Target, they had every other figure from the set except Muhammad Ali. So maybe that is true. Uh, the head sculpt on this figure is the exact same that we did get with the ultimate. Obviously, I think we got four head sculpts uh, with that figure. This is just kind of the standard kind of like, I don't know, kind of smiling, kind of like stoic. Uh, Muhammad Ali scan if you guys want a quick close-up. He does have the Stone Cold uh, Steve Austin torso uh, that they have been using. Uh, the actual Mattel Creations Elite actually had the Build-A-Figure like larger torso. And then, of course, the Ultimate is going to have a different torso than this one. So we've seen quite a few different torsos used on Muhammad Ali. You can see it does have the black gloves here. We have seen these before in the Mattel line. You can see the wrist cuffs actually do have the stitching. You guys can see that. We'll zoom in real quick. There is some stitching here. On the inside of the glove so adds a little extra detail they are a free floating piece and i don't really like that i, I hope that one day we can just kind of get these like sculpted together that would look pretty sick and just pop them right on or maybe even just mold it onto the hands uh the trunks or the the boxing shorts look to be the same i believe as the uh ultimate i don't know exactly we will obviously go through some in-depth comparisons but just a plain white with the black on there see a little pocket here kind of like the usos mold uh, he does have the pinless legs as well as the pinless arms. We'll point that out. So he does have the short white boots, similar to Stone Cold Steve Austin. He does have the white socks coming out. So nothing too crazy, nothing too fancy about this figure. Obviously one of the best boxers of all time. The greatest of all time, many would say. So uh, if you guys want to go through a quick articulation, the head will fully rotate. The arm fully rotates. Well, there is a bicep cut. 
double jointed pinless elbows there is the ab crunch here the waist does swivel you do do the splits about that much the leg goes up about that much the double jointed knees kicks back about that much there is a thigh cut which is a little stuck on mine but not too bad uh there is boot rotation as well so decent articulation what you would expect from your mattel elite figures but let's jump into comparison to see how this muhammad ali stacks up versus his other mattel figures here we go we have all the ultimate and elite muhammad ali figures released from mattel i know they've released quite a few in the last year obviously i don't know if the license is a long-term deal they're really trying to get their money's worth we also do have a retro not pictured here and i'm not sure if it's out yet the wwe superstars muhammad ali i feel like is another one uh coming to the mattel line we we're supposed to have a referee basic that figure got canceled i don't know if that will ever see the light of day but uh i know a lot of people have had muhammad ali fatigue and you know what it is i feel like a lot of us were kind of perplexed like Okay, it's cool you released Muhammad Ali as a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. It was an ultimate. I think if you had paired him with another wrestling figure, uh, people may have been a little more excited. I agree when it was announced, like, it's cool. Uh, do I need it for my collection? Uh, it, I don't know. It's a, it's a nice figure, don't get me wrong. But um, I think a lot of people are like, okay, we can, we can live with this. But then we got so many more, and it's like, well... And it's not even a lot, right? There's only four figures here, but you, you can see the idea about it, how quick they came out. I mean, sometimes you get Mattel figures, they sign a guy, they bring him back, and you get maybe one or two figures throughout the whole year. We've gotten already now four Elites and Ultimates combined, as well as the other two that I had mentioned, and a, a potential basic. And, and, you know, he hasn't had that big of a mark on wrestling history. So I get it. As a WWE fan, I totally get it. But let's look at the comparisons here. So you will see the referee uh, version here on the left. Uh, the, this is an alternate version. Here uh, next to that is the alternate with the red gloves. Next to uh, the Legends figure, you can see how much taller the Ultimates are uh, versus this figure. And then the most recent uh, Mattel Creations 4-pack, we have him in the suited figure. So let's jump right into the Ultimate and the Legends figure robe comparisons. You can see the material it looks more like a soft goods towel. And I can see how that's more realistic. But look how bulky that is, that tie on there uh, versus how it looked like on the regular robe. Same kind of font on the back. So I actually prefer the Legends roll better i just feel looks better on the figure it just looks so damn bulky uh you will also see the height comparison the ultimate is a lot taller um and again different looks here you have the referee figure as well as the uh suited figure i want to remove all the soft goods all these figures and compare the torso sizes Removing the soft goods off of these figures, you will see the difference in the torso size. Now, I will say the Ultimate and the Legends figure, the torso size obviously is going to be a little different because this has the added butterfly joints and the added articulation. But I believe this is the same torso they used for the Ultimate Stone Cold Steve Austin, so it makes sense to use the same one for the, uh, the Legends figure here. Uh, but I will say the Ultimate just looks more toyetic. I mean, it's the same trunks, right? This does not even have the drop-down hip articulation, so the trunks are the same. Uh, the socks are a different color. The boots have the added articulation with the toe joint here. I'm surprised they did not add that with the Legends figure. Sometimes we just kind of see parts carry over. Uh, but the red gloves just look a little better. I will say the Legends robe is a little better. But uh, size-wise, he's not as short as I thought he was. Maybe just a tad shorter. Obviously, the Ultimates have a little bit of a longer torso. But this is what I'm saying. A lot of people felt like, was this really needed? They are so similar. I mean, this same head sculpt came with the uh, the Ultimate figure. And it's really just... A difference in the robes and the boxing gloves now i will point out the mattel creations uh figure will have this jack torso and i don't know why they want this right it's a little big and one thing i failed to mention in my review this is the builder figure so you can just simply swap this out i think that's the reason they want this route this is probably the only torso they have tooled for the builder figure parts i'll give them a little bulkier look with the suit you could pop out all of these parts and you can make a different figure like if you didn't want muhammad ali maybe that's the selling point they said oh, a lot of people may be a little fatigued on muhammad ali let's add some components to make it a little more interesting so if you guys wanted to throw this on i don't know uh maybe make a cody rhodes with these lower legs or something like that some type of suited figure there's the option too but you'll see how much more jack they went but it is the same head sculpt i feel like we've seen this over and over again um and if you do want to compare it with the referee figure which i feel like was was needed for my collection he is actually a little shorter than the legends figure due to the legs here but these are all your figures here for muhammad ali uh we're just gonna wrap it up right here honestly do you need this legends figure for your collection i mean if you're a big muhammad ali a boxing fan then i'd say go ahead and grab it it is a good figure 
Um, I personally waited and I waited and I got it on sale and I still don't feel like I really need it in my collection. I think the ultimate is far superior. If you only need one, stick with the ultimate edition figure. I don't think this Legends figure is needed unless you're a completist. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get any more Elite Muhammad Ali's. I don't know the details of his deal, but uh, if you're a big fan, you can go ahead and grab this as a Target exclusive. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video review. Before you go, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at AlexWestCollects. I really appreciate you guys checking out this video review and I'll catch you all in the next one.